I think we're like right next to the crater. I think I can see literally the edge of it here. Oh, wow. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 341 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. Good morning Bumblebee. We are here in the town of Latacunga in Ecuador and it's a beautiful blue sky morning. We found this room last night with this, um, the parking place is also doubles up as a mechanics garage because look right next to Bumblebee, it's like a giant hole. <laughs> and like tools and engine parts everywhere. So we're just setting Bumblebee up for the day, but uh, let me show you guys the route. So we are here and today we are gonna be checking out the Reserva Ecologica Los Ilinas, the Los Ilinas Ecological Reserve, where somewhere around here, we can actually ride up to the crater lake of a volcano called Kilatoa. And then we're gonna be doing a loop through the reserve and round joining up with this road here and heading up to Quito. Yes, we are doing some more volcano exploring today. I love volcanoes. <laughs> I know it was a little bit of a failure the last time. Hey, Ardu, must be just over there. We have a bracelet right now on the map, but we cannot see it. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's the we couldn't see anything, it was freezing cold, it was absolutely terrible. But today is looking a lot nicer. Um, I think it's only an hour and a half ride to get over to the volcano. And because we're going all the way to the crater lake, there is a 100% chance that we will actually see this volcano. I would never say 100% chance. Oh, that's but true. But there's a very good chance. Also on our way up to Quito, we will actually pass another volcano, Volcano Cotapachi. So it will be really exciting. So it's about a five hours ride to go around the volcano and up to Quito. It's already 8.30 and we have still to pick up everything. So better hit the road, let's go. Whee! Ciao, ciao! Ciao, ciao! Oh, yeah. Time to hit the road. Ciao, ciao! Ciao, ciao! ciao. <laughs> Yo! This is the, always the one is like, left or right to be on that line that it wants me to be on. Um, I think it's one way. Ah, well, there so we go. So just go to the, <laughs> to the right here. And, yes! Is it right? Yeah. To the left here now. To the left here? Yeah. Okay. Tricky, okay. tricky, hey, in the morning. And the sun is out in Ecuador. Can you believe it? There's barely a cloud in the sky, hey? Are <laughs> we still in Ecuador? Not the Ecuador I know of. Oh, I think before the end of the day, we will see the real Ecuador. So we've got an hour and a half to get over to Quiltoa. So let's get out of La Tocunga. Yes. Yes. Uh, super. See? Okay, perfecto. Okay. Gracias. It's pretty cheap here in Ecuador, hey? Gracias. Gracias. Oh my god. What's that? Ah! Maybe this is Cot Cotopachi here. Maybe it is. Yeah, because Cotopachi is right next to it, no? I think. It's like spewing out stuff at the top. <laughs> it's like an active volcano over there. Hopefully we can get a better view of that a bit later. That looked incredible. A look and there's some volcanoes over there wow. in the distance as well. Wow, it's such a clear day today compared to the last two. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's like incredibly nice. Wow. Whoa, look at that one over there. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Wow, look at this view. Wow, Volcano Cotopachi. It's so cool that we could see it in like its full glory with a beautiful clear day, amazing. And at the top is like a cloud of smoke constantly coming out, that is insane. We're actually gonna be riding 
after Kilotoa around and even closer to Cotopachi. So if the weather stays reasonable, then we should have a lot of views of this wonderful volcano. Oh, look, there's an alpaca right here. Aww. Oh, didn't he? Hola. <laughs> Hola. Como estas? Ah, there. This mask. Wow. Oh, wow. Lovely. Look at this. There's so many masks. Oh, qué lindo. Wow. Beautiful alpaca. <laughs> wow. Este es madera, miren. Que arba? Eh, pino. Pino. Mm -hmm. Oh, pine. Mm -hmm. Mask tr tradicional? Tradicional. Sí. Estos son las fiestas típicas del pueblo indígena en mes de junio, en Tirreimi. Se le desplaza de ayahuma, de tigre, de lobo, de payaso, de perro, de todos los animales, cóndores. Está en peligro de extinción, pero por lo menos tenemos en el arte. Beautiful, hey? Really, really beautiful. Wow. Hello, sweetheart. Muchas gracias. Awesome. What a beautiful neighborhood here. It looks so pleasant and so nice. And everyone here is dressed in their traditional outfits, like the same like in the mountains of Bolivia and in the mountains of Peru, like with the poncho and the bowler hat and a flock of sheep or alpacas or llamas. Yeah, it's really, really, really nice to see you. And as well, just the surroundings here are so stunning. A lot of cactuses. I love the outfits. Absolutely. Hola. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we had the space, I think we'd both get ourselves some ponchos yeah. and some bowler hats. Yes. I would love to. I would love to. So we're about 20 minutes from Kilatoa Lake, the crater lake, and the sun is still shining, so we might be in luck. Yeah, such an incredible ride today, really. It's been a beautiful, peaceful ride. It's just been very nice and smooth and pleasant. 14 degrees sunshine, windy, twisty roads. You can't really ask for more. Hola, Hola. buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Dos dollars. Dos dollars, okay, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that was two dollars per person. Wow, that's a really, really good price compared to a lot of the places that we've been. Yeah. It's a good price, really good price. I think there's another thing. Oh no, what is that? Another one. Hola, buenas. Buenos días. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Perfecto. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Cinco, seis, tres. Uno, cinco, cinco. Nuevo, nuevo, nueve, dos. Gracias. Muchas gracias. <laughs> awesome. All right. So we've arrived in Kilatoa. I think we're like right next to the crater. I think I can see literally the edge of it here. Oh, wow. Okay. I think we have to stop here and walk up here. Okay, let's stop here then and we'll have a little look. Okay. Whoa, we are really right on the edge of this crater, hey? I didn't realize that we were like right next to it. That's insane. Whoa. Wow, what an incredible place, hey? Yeah, and look at the green colour of the water as well. Yeah, incredible view. There you go, this is one volcano that we can see today. Yes! It's not shrouded in fog and clouds and rain. <sighs> impressive. Impressive. Really impressive.
we're just having like a nice little coffee break here but it's so funny because we ordered a uh, cafe con leche and you have literally milk with a little bit of coffee like the whole pot is full of milk and then they add a little bit of coffee in there it's a lot of milk in there <laughs> but it's nice Alrighty, all coffeeed up and ready to go <laughs> Whee! look there's some horses horse on the roads Beautiful. Okie dokie. Goodbye, most beautiful crater lake in the world. Yeah, what an awesome place and so easy to get to as well. You can literally ride up and we just park the bike about 10 meters from the edge of the crater. That's pretty cool. It's magical. Yeah. Absolutely magical. So basically there are like two ways to get from here to Quito which is where we're going to be trying to stay tonight. One way is to head basically back the way we came, um, all the way to pretty much where we started this morning, and then taking the main road up to Quito, which I think is a highway. Or there is uh, this little road that continues past Kilotoa, and it's about a 50 mile loop around through this, um, I can't remember the name of the reserve, but it's a ecological reserve that I mentioned this morning. And this loop basically goes all the way through that. It might be a bit more difficult to ride. We don't know how much of it is paved and how much of it is unpaved. We did try to ask some locals and some other people. And the answer we got is that it's mostly paved, some good, some bad. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this answer was enough for us to decide to go this way. And it looked really pretty promising this loop here we can see some villages along the way some amazing incredibly epic nature oh hold on a minute what's going on here oh okay you can't go this way apparently diversion you think i have to go up there i think so oh that's <sighs> late <laughs> yeah I... okay so i don't know what that means for this <laughs> for this journey but we've already turned off the main road <laughs> and we're now heading i don't know where well hopefully it's going to bring us back to that road because that <laughs> road was paved <laughs> yes i don't know what that's about i think they must join back back together yeah i guess so so that is the main road up there but for some reason we can't use it yeah. So we have to take this little cut through here and uh, it looks all right, but... It looks all right. Uh, but it doesn't look great. It's a little bit washed out in, yeah. in some sections. Yes. Wow, so here is why there was a diversion uh, not this by the way this is actually where we actually just came a second ago so so they think that this bit's fine but up there you can see the entire road is actually missing it's like fallen into the into the uh, gorge right there hola chicos hola como estas bien ciao oh they're all running off where are they going I'm absolutely loving this road at the moment. It's just winding its way through little villages and it's really giving us a, a good look at like the Ecuadorian rural mountain life. We can just see people herding their sheep and pigs around and all these little houses nestled in the hills. Yeah, it's just so interesting as well how people are living here and everyone seems so like content and they're always smiling and waving and it seems like a really nice chilled life here actually. Bienvenidos a Chilan. Oh, getting in the way of the police pictures. <laughs> a bit of a landslide in front so I think we can just about take on the edge of this bit let's have a look yeah and then I'm just gonna switch over to this side yeah 
monster now, my love, eh? <laughs> oh, beautiful. There's a waterfall just cascading off the mountain there. Look at that. Hold on a minute. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, there really is a traditional way of life still going on here. You can really see it all around the countryside. So I think we made a really, really good decision to come this way. So far, it's been absolutely amazing. <laughs> Tons of switchbacks coming now. Steep switchbacks. Oh, Ooh. yes. Holy moly. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I think somehow we have to come uh, to the other side here, hey? Yeah, like over there. Wow. So it's like switchbacks down, cross a bridge, switchbacks up. Oh my lord. Crazy. Wow. I love Ecuador. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What you can see in one day here in Ecuador, hey? Just riding one day and you see so many things. It's incredible. Oh wow, all the way down and then it just comes to like this like tiny little bridge. Look at that. <laughs> cute so cute so i just asked the fella in the shop and he told me that cotopachi volcano is right there but we can't see it at all <laughs> oh no i'm really glad that we saw it earlier because now it's just clouds you can see the snow line but and the top is completely hidden <laughs> And it looks like a massive rain cloud over there as well. So we decided to stop here. We've just ordered some chips from <laughs> this little cafe. Yes. We wanted to stop before we got in the rain whilst we were still dry and comfortable. But otherwise it's really, really good going actually. We have just one hour, 40 minutes left apparently to Quito. So I think after this break, one last push and then we will be there. We didn't ask for any drinks, but they brought these over. I think it's like pineapple juice. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> They're playing from a record. It's really crazy because we just paid two US dollar for our lunch here. <laughs> two US dollar. I just went and I asked how much for a portion of fries. She said one dollar. Yeah. And it came with a free juice. Wow, I'm so impressed. And it was super, super tasty. My salad was really nice too. Yeah, a successful lunch. And we have actually just at lunch now, we just booked uh, an accommodation on booking.com, uh, which is only $11 for the room for the night with parking apparently so yeah we uh we actually should arrive there before four o'clock which is absolutely awesome all right we are coming down into the city of quito the capital of ecuador but as we learned in a previous episode not the largest city in ecuador because that's guayaquil but the capital nonetheless and definitely less humid and less hot less tropical than guayaquil so we've got about just under 15 minutes to get over to our accommodation which i think is pretty much in the city center or very close to the city center Oh, holy moly, look at this street. Wow, it looks like we really are coming into like the old center. Holy moly, there's some, a lot of 
Look at the crazy climbs. <laughs> I was just about to go into my keto information and then I was like, oh, I've got to concentrate on whatever happening here. Wow, cool. Beautiful. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, this city was actually founded on the ancient foundations of an Inca city. Now it has a population of 2 million people and the city actually lies at 2,800 meters above sea level. So it's a pretty high up city, pretty high up capital. Yeah, around here. <laughs> wow. And as you can see around, so the city is really famous actually for its well-preserved colonial center. Uh, they say that it's a really really good mix of like 16th 17th century european buildings moorish architecture and also indigenous um, styles as well but it's really hilly though i can tell you that <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah we are high up now yeah look at this church oh wow wow oh, yeah that's a crazy church over there oh my god look at that how big that is yeah wow it's a massive cathedral yeah i think that is the old colonial center right down there and i think actually we've got to go down a little bit to get to our accommodation holy moly holy moly <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow okay and then coming around all right and our accommodation is something with beer Something with B. Hotel something. <laughs> there it is. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, there's pizza there. Hola. Uh, uh, you can just... Okay. Okay. But I don't know if I can go here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah. Holy moly. Gracias. You're crawling? Yo tenía una 650, una Suzuki DR650. Ah. Ah, so Kawasaki Kailer and a XT, Yamaha XT 660. Okay. We made it! Happy and alive! Whee! Quito! We are here with our nice city view. <laughs> In the booking.com description, it said city view, but... Do we they mean that? <laughs> I mean, that's a city. We have more like a nice corridor view. And that corridor is in the city. <laughs> But it was an absolutely beautiful ride today. Oh my God. I can't believe that we didn't get rained on. We barely had like any traffic until coming into Quito. But this little detour that we did, going through this, this reserve and past this volcano, and we got to see amazing views of Cotopaxi. It was just an incredible ride today. Ecuador, you're full of surprises. At the end, we did 140 miles today and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, then you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below and we will see you next time.